Hi, this is Dave from Hector Smokehouse and today I'm going to do a quick review on the Inkbed IBT6X um, Smart Wireless Barbecue Thermometer. So this is a new product which is made in China and um, in this version it's got uh, six probes actually on this and can obviously read in um, Fahrenheit and centigrade. Um, it's only Bluetooth so it's going to cover a Bluetooth range rather than uh, being wireless but it's at a very attractive price point and these are available from Amazon um, whether it's Amazon.com or Amazon.com.au So I'm going to go through, open up the box, show you what it looks like and then I'm going to put three of the probes onto my Yoda pit and measure the temperature in the Yoda pit. Okay, so let's open the box and see what we've got. So, here we go inside the box. Um, it's got leaflet, the instructions, barbecue go, so you can actually download um, the app to actually run the thermometer with. It's only available on um, iPhone, so make sure that if you're using an iPad, you've got it switched to um, iPhone software. Um, in here, there is the warranty card, and there's also six sets of probes. And um, in there, there is clips for taking the temperature of the pit. There's three sets of clips in there. And then there is also the actual uh, transmitter. So you can see on there, the, you've got the different connection points. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this takes six. Uh, it's got a front screen that I'll just peel off to protect. Um, in here, you can pull this off. Um, it takes two AAA batteries. So there is no AAA batteries with the actual um, the thermometer itself. So you'll have to buy your own batteries and actually install them. So I'll do that now. I'll just grab some out of the cupboard. So we just put those in, fasten it up and then that can go back into the case. Now in terms of the case, at the back, uh, there's actually no magnet on there. I'd have liked to have seen a, a magnet. Um, it's a nice case to hold it in, but uh, some sort of a rare earth magnet fastened in there would be excellent on this model. I think it does. it is available on other models, but not on this one. So I'll go through now and start to show you um, how to hook it up to your phone, um, and then we'll go try the temperatures on the pit outside. So according to the instructions, it should be pretty easy to set up with my iPhone. Um, you turn the device on by pressing and holding for three seconds. You can see the device is actually um, turned on. Um, and then what it should start to do is start to connect. Scanning now. And press, short press the button once. And there you go, as easy as that. Done. So we're actually connected now um, to the to the phone. I'll plug one of these in just to see how it goes, but let's plug one of the probes in and sure enough it's showing straight away, 25 degrees and that's measured in centigrade so I'm going to have to go back through and change that to Fahrenheit for Australia. If you're in America then it's perfect and then um, you can see that it's set at probe 1 and again on the app you can see 25 degrees so I'll go through this now and have a look at how you actually change this from Fahrenheit to centigrade. So I've had a look at the menus on the actual app and it's very intuitive and very simple to use. Um, so you can click at the top there, you've got um, different settings, things like thermometer, you can change it quickly from centigrade through to Fahrenheit and hopefully you should see this change, there you go, 75F. Um, connection notifications, you've got alarm intervals whenever you put it on so you've got repeat alarms. Um, you can turn your alarm ringtone on and off and vibration on and off. So very simple to use. In, in terms of actually being able to do the basic setup. Um, if you've had a, a triggered alarm, you can actually see the alarms that have been triggered um, within there. You can change the language as well. Um, if you go back, you can look at the graph. So here you can see uh, the graph at the moment for probe one, down at the bottom is a um, 75F um, with no presets on there. So then to be able to actually use this to cook, there's two types of, of um, cooking you can do or two types of measurements you can take. One is going to be um, for the actual meat itself. So in here you can see beef, veal and all these different settings. 
Um, if you're doing um, low and smoke, uh, low and slow, these settings might not be correct. So what you might want to do is actually create new ones. So you've got a range, two types of temperatures you can set. One is, is peak. So once it gets to a certain temperature, so say you're doing brisket and you want to get it to 198F, and then once it gets to 198F, you want to start checking it with your thermopen and, and probing it to see if it's almost ready. That's what you'd set. And if you want to do range, which would be the range of temperatures you want to have your um, smoker running at. So if you've got set to 225, you might want to be alarmed when it goes above 250, and you might want it to be alarmed when it goes below 200. So you can set peak, and um, you can create the name of whatever it is you want to do. So we'll put brisket in there, which is nice and simple. We put a temperature, so like I said, 198F, and tick it. Um, tick that and that should create the preset. And brisket's now down at the bottom. So I can actually then set that um, to brisket and that can be the one you can see the tick in there. Um, another one that I might want to do is for the actual Yoda smoker I'm going to cook on. Um, so what I'll do is in there, I'll put Yoda and I'm gonna put a highest temperature of say 260 and a lowest temperature of 190 and tick that. And again, I've got a Yoda preset, so I've got that on the set on the preset. So that's really simple to use, and you can edit any of these and um, turn them into what you want. We've got a nice little icon, so it's very simple to use. Um, and then at the top there, you've also got a timer section. So in here, you can have, they've said in here, add comments such as flip burgers, so you can put a timer on. So for a steak or something like that, you could actually put time on there for, to say how long you want the steak to be done for, and it'd have the probe in there as well. Um, I can't see you using that as much as you would actually use the temperatures. You're going to use them a lot more. Um, so very simple to use, very innovative, I've, in, intuitive. I've only used it for two minutes and it's very simple, very self-explanatory. So um, I'm going to have no worries at all actually using this. So what I'll do is I'll go and show you it actually working. I'm going to um, check the temperature of the odour in two or three areas on the top and bottom, left and right. I'll put three probes in. I'll use it with these um, oven settings and then I'll hold it in place and, and see what the temperatures are like so I'll just show you what it actually looks like. Okay so what I've done is I've set up the Yoda with three probes in. So I've got reading one down at the bottom in the middle and reading two is at the top on the left and reading three is at the top on the right. So I'm going to see them get up to temperature obviously close it down and see how they compare against each other and then we'll come back and have a look. So I'm not exactly sure if you can see that temperature, but it's saying 226 at the moment on the Yoda. Um, then if I come back and look here, you can see 216, that's um, at the bottom in the middle. 234, 232 is top left, and 225 is top right. Um, and then you can go through and you can actually see um, the graphs for each of those. So you can see the graphs and they're very easy just to flick through and see what the graphs look like. So that's very simple. And you can also see now that um, I've put on the Yoda temp, so that was that one that I set earlier, the presets that are on there. So it seems to be working pretty well. Um, this is obviously the first time that I've used it, but so far it seems really good. Um, I tried it in the house and I was able to walk to the other side, right to the um, front door, and this is in the back. So it was about 20 meters away and still was picking up pretty well. So um, first pass seems pretty good. So I'm quite impressed with it at the moment. And again, you can see on the main controller and um, the temperature and you can see it scrolling through each of the um, temps that are set in the Yoda. So I've just had my first test of the ink bed and I must admit, I've been pretty impressed. Um, this thing is, is not going to replace a, a, a Wi-Fi type thermometer system, something like a tapper cue or a fireboard. Um, but what it does do is it's going to compete against the iGrill, it's going to compete against the Maverick. And, and from my first use of it, the interface is really easy to use, the app is very simple to use. Um, the probe seemed pretty good, the distance on it from the Bluetooth, um, I managed to go about 20 meters, which worked really well, so I was really impressed with that. And the price point is excellent. Um, I'm gonna put a link through so you can actually click through the link through to amazon.com and amazon.com.au. Um, but really, really good. Few things I would change. So if I had a few things to change, the actual probes themselves, 
Um, it'd be ideal if they were bent at 90 degrees, especially where you've got a small pit and um, space is an issue. So bending those at 90 degrees isn't going to be a big thing. It's not a, uh, a game changer or anything like that, but it'll just make it a lot easier to use. The batteries that were missing, I had to find myself. It'd be good if they were in the actual pack. And then the only other thing would be having some sort of a, a magnetic strip or a rare earth magnet on the back so you can stick it straight to your smoker. I'm going to be using this in the next two or three weeks. I'm going to take it to a competition and see how it goes in the competition. I typically use a fireboard at the moment, but I'm going to actually try the ink bed and see how it works. But so far, I'm pretty impressed and for really good value for money. Um, I think it's well worth having a go with and I don't think you'd be too upset with it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click like um, or please subscribe to my channel.